Hi there, I'm Abhishek Inamdar from Keyframes Animation. Today I'm going to show you how to design, how to make a lamp in 3D Max in a very simple way. So this is the lamp and I'll show you the render and this is what we are going to do and I'm very excited to share these techniques with you. So let's get started with the first lesson. So the first object uh, I will take, I'll go to cylinder, just drag the cylinder. this is fine press f4 on my keyboard to see the segments i don't want to work on realistic so i'll click on realistic and say shade it i press alt w on my keyboard to make a maximize viewport so right now we don't require those segments so i'll just say right click on height segment and it's fine so now i'll say right click and convert it to a double poly and this and this base I don't want I'll just delete this base and so now if you select these edges, edges if you see and uh, I want to select whole lot of edges so now for that I'll say loop and the edges has been selected if I move like this this will move it but what i want i want more seg uh, you know plus one segment and i want a surface on that so i'll press shift on my keyboard i'll just drag it if you see i'll get a segment i'll make one more surface on it so how to do that i'll just go to scale i'll press r on my keyboard i'll press shift and drag inside so we get this very good extrude like effect so again i want uh, one more uh, segment over here i'll press again shift and again inside i'll click scale so i'll just see this segment we are getting now again slightly inside press again uh, shift and drag like this I'll press W, I'll press shift again. Slightly upwards. I'll press R. Again I'll press shift. Slightly up. Yeah. Press shift and drag inside. Again same thing. I'll press W and press shift again I'll press R I'll press shift I'll get inside the surface now till here again I'll press shift and again toward this surface Now I'll press shift again, go up and I'll press R, press shift again, so I'll get it down this one, yes, so I'll just check this by adding turbo smooth. I'll press T on my keyboard and just say the palette. Now see it's fine looking uh, uh, edges we can see it but if you see second one it's not so sharp so for that I'll just go and say edge I'll press F4 on my keyboard I'll click this segment I'll say loop so sorry I'll say ring yeah now I want segment over here now I'll say connect and here is the connect let's call the connect yeah connect 
transmission box connect so now we can't see what what kind of smoothness we are getting we'll just click on show end results click we can see this and yeah so i can see this how it's happening you can slide it see if you can see here i'll just zoom it now it was zero and i'll just increase it see it's getting tighter and tighter i'll just stop this turbo smooth what is happening we can see it we are getting this edge closer to this edge so now the result is something like this yeah same thing we can do over here i'll say okay just off click here and say ring now i'll say connect on c for it for like this you can get some tight edge press f4 see you can get this tight edge is very perfectly so now i go on left view port i'll go and take line p like this like this like this and like this go to modify vertex select all vertex say fill it yes a little bit like this it's fine still i want something like this from here if you can take like this see from here and from here so it will look more gorgeous oh, lamp fine i'll say modify you can add sweep basically sweep modifier is uh, very much used in splines where we want to make uh, geometries and i'll say cylinder come down with the size this so the edge and this i have to add one more edge i'll go to say right click and say refine if you want over here and just drag it just like that match it yes so start again we want something like this select go to modify now i'll just add editable poly again you can add from modifier list as well or you can directly convert say convert to editable poly just press f4 it's fine and let's say i'll go to perspective it's fine go and don't want this surface and select delete selecting this edge yeah say loop slightly I'll increase yeah
select this one I'll say loop now slightly this is going out of the shape selecting again this one and say loop slightly I'll come down like this yeah same thing I'll say loop slightly I want uh, some very soft conversion to wire to lamp so I'll say again yes now it's fine we can stretch it say loop now i'll say deselect i'll select again this one i'll say loop slightly i'll make it go to left say press r So now the challenge is I I, I can't work on this uh, object locally if I want to increase or decrease the radius of it. So what I'll do is I'll just make this copy, say instance. Now I'll just uh, rotate it like this, straight. Now whatever I can, I do the change over here. I can directly apply to on this lamp so there is no problem working in left view as well because it's straight now like, like this slightly and select this one and say ring say connect Please, the best way to see that just select and add turbo smooth yes it's perfectly done just select it like this press F4 so now in next part I'll make uh, on materials and I'll add some VRAM materials on it so it will look realistic and we can have a SS material on this and we can render it in next part so if you enjoyed my tutorial do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online and if you really found this lecture useful do like us and uh, if you want some kind of tutorial do let me know and if you have any problem in this tutorial do let me know so i'll really help i'll i'll, I'll like to help you on that issues so thanks for watching my tutorial always enjoy learning